All right, we're going to um, install SendGrid on your machine. And then we're also going to talk about um, how to set um, a Windows environment variable so that uh, you can uh, save your API key, keep it local to your machine, and then it allows you to check in code later on uh, and pull that API key uh, without having to put your API key into your uh, GitHub repository. So let's install SendGrid real quick, open up a command prompt, and uh, just run pip install SendGrid. Uh, SendGrid has created a Python package that you can use to install and use in your programs to access their services. So just let this run and install all the packages. <clears throat> all right, next. So SendGrid is installed. Now let's save your API key to a Windows environment variable. So I've saved uh, my key and key ID here uh, into a text file when I created it. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to call the set x command. This will set a permanent environment variable. We're going to call it send grid API key. And we're going to set it to this key. And uh, remember to put it in quotes. Now we're going to hit enter. So now that we've done that, we can open up idle. And we import the oper uh, operating system module. And now we can print out that key using os.environ for environment.git sendgrid api key. And theoretically, when we hit enter, there's your key. So now when you check in your code and write your code, instead of plugging the sensitive API key into your code, uh, you just put this in there. And then if someone else wants to download your code and run your code, they can put their own API key in. So when I test your labs, I can uh, use my own API key. It won't uh, send emails using your account on your behalf uh, keeps everything safe and separated.